Hi, it's Carly McAvoy. I want to show you today on your TI-84 Plus how to find the exact value for a square root or cubic root or any other root that you're looking for. If you put this into the calculator directly, um, you'll just, if you put second function, square root, 684, it's going to give you a decimal answer. And you might need the exact answer rather than the decimal answer. So to do that, what you're going to do is go to y equals up here and put in the number 684 and then put in divided by and then put in use this button here to put the x and then you want to the second power because we're looking for the square root or second root here once you have that value in there go ahead and go to second function table second function table and you will see that the calculator has listed out a bunch of values what this is saying is if you took one squared out you'd have the square root of 684 which is what we have if you took two squared out you'd have 171 if you took three squared out you'd have 76 if you took four squared out you would not get an exact number and what you want to do is scroll down until you find the number that has an exact number beside it the largest one possible because we don't want to take the square root of 76 that still has a perfect square in it so we would go down and this one I think is 6 square root of 19 because square root of 19 does not have any perfect squares in it it is exactly a prime number so we know that we're done there so that would be 6 square root of 19 so you could go down the list now what I suggest is that remember we're going to get out of this by second quit what i would suggest is try your number maybe 1024 is a perfect square if so you don't need to go through all that trouble second function square root 1024 and it is a perfect square root of 32. what would you get if you had gone in here if you have something in here already hit clear to get rid of it 1024 divided by x you can do x to the second power or just x squared whichever one you want it's just going to give you the same thing second function table what's going to happen here is we we know that it's 32 if i go down here i can see 4 square root of 64 i can see 8 square root of 16 but we know the square root of 16 is still a perfect square so i don't want to stop there and if you go on down a ways you can see 16 square root of 4 square root of 4 is 2 so that's not good for us and if you keep going and keep going and keep going then eventually you're going to get down there to ah, square root of 32 uh, 32 with the square root of 1 and that's that's just means that our answer is exactly 32 so you can use this but if you can get away from it and not have to use it that would be good you can always go back up it kind of leaves you off where you started so I like to clear that out okay second function quit square root of 300 second function square root 300 it's not a perfect square so I can go in here put my y value in I'm going to put 300 and divided by x squared and then second function table and now I can go through and look for that in this case you can see I have 5 square root of 12 but I down here have 10 square root of 3 and you can know that that's 10 square root of 3 because we know that 300 is the square root of 100 times the square root of 3 and the square root of 100 is 10. You might be able to see that on your own but you can also use your calculator. If you want to do a cubic root it's the same process. Um, you want to go in here and put in your 864 or whatever number you have. Um, whoops not times divided by and I'm going to do x but this time I'm going to have to use this button and I'm going to do to the third power and then I'm going to do second function table and now I can go down and this is taking out the cubes um, not the squares so if we take out the cube of 1 we get 864 that doesn't help us if we take out 2 to the third power we're left with 108 if we take out 3 to the third power we have 32 and down here is 6 cubic root of four don't be uh, don't don't think that that could be simplified because this is two, two square but it's not two to the third power so that's how you're going to do those it's not the most um, intuitive but you can get your exact answer like that have a fantastic day